Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. Welcome to Chit Chat with QT. The views that I express are my own personal opinions and reactions for research and commentary, and everything is alleged. Join me while I discuss hot topics, reality TV, celebrity news, and more. Please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. So guys, let's get into this extended clip of Love and Marriage Huntsville reunion trailer. And I'm just going to start off by saying that it's Love and Mail of Huntsville. Damn near every person shown had Mel's name in their mouths. Just in the clip. Imagine the whole damn taping. My goodness. But let's get into what was said. Letitia told Mel she has a dark soul. A dark soul? Has Tisha even spent that much time with and around Mel for her to say Mel has a dark soul? That's some deep-seated, deep-rooted hatred right there. And it's my belief that Tisha hates Mel so much because she knows that Mel knows the truth about Marceau. Tisha, girl, go get your ass some help. This cannot be healthy. Mel should not have this much of an impact on your life for you to be carrying around all this hate. And people have always said that Tisha does not know how to let shit go as far as past disagreements or arguments and all of that. So yeah, you need to release that shit, Tisha, because it is not a good look. And why haven't we seen what Mel has done to cause this hate? You're on a reality show. And the viewing public does not have a clue other than her saying Marceau cheated. But we don't have a clue as far as why you would have this much hatred towards this girl. And I'm sorry, if there wasn't any truth to what Mel said about Marceau, Tisha would have been let this shit go a long time ago. I'm just confused. And then this girl said, Mel is a devil in sheep's clothing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it a wolf in sheep's clothing? But either way, a devil? Damn, girl, that's a strong ass word to call someone. You would think that Mel has tried to harm their business, their livelihood, or some shit like that. Now, here it is. Your company's name is Skolt. Melody Holt. Skolt. Holt is in that. Which means Mel had a part of that. Because we all know that Martel's ass didn't know anything and didn't do anything for that to happen. And then secondly, here it is. You are on a show that Mel brought to fruition that you and your family are eating off of and you call this girl a devil wow i cannot and let's get into destiny dusty ass destiny another snake so she's been screaming that mel knows the truth that she holds about her Girl, you haven't said shit in what? Two years. It's been two years since the friendship ended and you've been trying to threaten her with this for two years. You're on a whole reality show, just like Tisha. And you haven't said what this is. Like Mel said, say it. What is it? Was it that she cheated? 
Because if she did, good for her. She had this disrespectful ass Negro, Martell, going through town frolicking with this woman, that woman, and the main side chick, Coleslaw. So if she decided to, hey, it's an eye for an eye. If he can do it, I can too. Good for her. So you need to stop with the threatening like you're going to release this explosive information because you would have done that by now. And then I believe that Mel was right. You are too chummy with Martel. But he's so damn naive, he really doesn't even know why. You're chummy with him because you really want to get back at his ex-wife. Now, here it is. This man said in the episode last night that he didn't even want to hear about anything with Mel. He wanted to concentrate on his Ines wine launching. And you disregarded what he said and started playing a damn recording of his wife. You're a snake. And Mel definitely did the right thing when she ended that friendship. Because you've been running back telling Martel shit probably before the friendship even ended. That's just my opinion. But Destiny is another scorned ass woman just like Tisha when it comes to Mel. Let that shit go. There is no woman or man that would have me out here hating on someone to this extent. Period. Tisha and Destiny both is carrying around hatred. And it's kind of scary. Because look, the friendships ended gone on about y'all's lies but they know in order for them to remain on this show they have to talk about mail and let's see what miss kiki shares will she finally admit what she knows about marceau will kiki say marceau cheated i'm not convinced based on the clip because when Carlos said, you know for sure Marceau cheated, he was looking at Mel, not Kiki. So just my opinion, I think that what Kiki knows is what Tisha later said. That Marceau had a picture of some woman in his phone. And I think that was back then, not recently. We shall see. But I think that... Tisha may have confided that information to Kiki, but I guess we shall see. But yeah, guys, that is my take on the extended clip or the trailer of the reunion. And I may have to create a backup page because something is just telling me I may have to really let loose because of this reunion. So I think I may need a backup page so I can make sure I will continue to be able to drop videos on YouTube. So if I do decide to do that in the next coming days, you guys, please make sure to subscribe to my new channel. But let me know your thoughts on this. Am I tripping or does this hate seems to be a bit much? I mean, Tisha calling this girl a devil in sheep's clothing. That's real, real deep. And for us to not have seen anything that would warrant that, that's weird as hell. So you guys drop down in the comments. Let's chit chat about it. Please also make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell and subscribe. I will be back with you guys soon in a couple hours with my recap of the finale. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.